there, welcome, welcome. We are on day 26 of our 31 days of recipes throughout the month of December. And I stand before you the day after Christmas with an amazing dish that is super awesome. It is a spinach and kale and shrimp egg roll. I made a sweet chili sauce that I'm going to pair with this. That recipe is not included, but the egg roll is, so we're gonna hop right into it. Before me, I have my skillet on, medium heat. I'm just gonna drizzle it with a little bit of oil. Just a little bit. Probably about a teaspoon and a half. I'm gonna put that behind me. And in our pan, I'm going to go ahead and cook our kale first. So I have two cups of kale. I'm gonna go ahead and add that to our pan because I want the kale to cook down and then to add the spinach because spinach is only going to take a couple of seconds to wilt. So I'm just cooking this off really quickly. It's only going to take about a minute to cook down the kale. And then we're going to go ahead and add in three cups of spinach. So let me go ahead and incorporate. It's cooking out really good. Go ahead and incorporate our spinach into the pan. Again, that's three cups of spinach. Kale and spinach is going to be about three to three and a half minutes and it should be good and wilted down. We're wanting to release as much water as we can because when we incorporate the remaining ingredients, we don't want any additional liquids added to our recipe. I've let our greens mixture, which is our kale and spinach, cool for about 10 minutes. I'm gonna go into the next step where I use my food processor. Go ahead and pop it in the food processor. And here's where we're gonna do our seasoning out of our food processor. So to this, I have a half of a small carrot, just rough chopped. We want to add texture to our filling for our egg rolls. I have a quarter of a white onion, just rough chopped. I have four small garlic cloves, pop those in. I'm going to put in a good pinch of salt, a heaping, well, two pinches, two pinches of salt. And then I'm actually I'm going to go ahead and pulse this for a second. Our mixture has been pulsed. I'm going to go ahead and incorporate the remaining ingredients, which is two tablespoons of cream cheese or vegan cream cheese. I have a half of a cup of cheese, and I have a quarter of a pound of shrimp large or extra large shrimp and the last remaining ingredient is one tablespoon of cornstarch to bind everything together one tablespoon of cornstarch make sure i get it all out okay gonna twist some Crack black pepper in here. Good heat. About a half of a teaspoon. Okay. All of this stuff right here. Pop it in there. And go ahead and pulse this until it is thoroughly incorporated. To assemble the egg rolls. So in front of me, I have egg roll sheets, the big ones. I have a little bit of water. So I can assemble, let me grab a spoon, and I'm going to, so I have spread the mixture closest to the end that I want to start doing our wrap in for a roll. Then I am going to go ahead and roll it up, tucking my sides in. Roll. 
Get some water right on that part and roll it in, roll it up, and this is what our egg roll looks like. And I will do the rest of them once I assemble them. We will go ahead and cook them right up until the skillet heats up with the oil. And then I will go ahead and cook our egg rolls for about three and a half minutes on each side. I am not deep frying them. I am cooking them on all sides in the oil that we have inside of our pan to cut down on calories as much as I can. So pan is heated up. I will go ahead and put seam side down, seam side down on our egg rolls so that they can stay. And I don't want to overcrowd the pan. Are our completed egg rolls nice and crispy, a nice golden brown color. I am going to go in and have one with our sweet chili sauce that I made. So good, so good. Look at the inside of that egg roll. The kale and the spinach and the shrimp all married together, so good. Mmm, that's so good. That is absolutely delicious. Mmm. Jesus be a fence. Mmm. So that does it for today. See you here tomorrow for day 27 of our 31 days of recipes throughout the month of December. Please stay safe. And I pray that you enjoyed your family yesterday on Christmas. But until then, I will see you. Peace.